Day and Night by Shira Evans. Chapter 1 The Changing Sky. It's early morning and the sky is changing. It's dawn and the colors in the sky turn from black to purple and red. Now the sky turns from red to orange. It's still dawn. Soon the sky will turn blue. As the sun rises higher, it lights up the land. The water and trees start to become brighter and clearer. Daytime is coming. It's daytime now. The sun is high in the sky. The sky is blue and the clouds are white. Now it's late afternoon and the sun has moved across the sky. It makes long shadows on the land. Day is beginning to turn to dusk. It's dusk. The sun is setting. The sky changes color again. Soon it will be night. The sun has set. Darkness falls across the land. The sun is rising on the other side of the world. There it is daytime, but here it is nighttime. At nighttime, the sky is full of stars. The sun is gone. Now the moon shines bright. Chapter 2 Animals in the Day Above the ocean, the sun rises. Soon it's high enough in the sky to brighten the water. A school of fish starts to become active. As the sun rises, it fills the water with more light. It's now dawn. The fish look for food. It's noon and the sun shines brightly overhead. A group of monkeys swings through the trees. The monkeys have been awake since sunrise and have a lot of energy to play. The sun shines on the monkeys. It makes them warm. The monkeys have played for hours. Now they will take a nap. It's late afternoon on the savanna and the sun starts to drop. An ostrich looks out across the land. The sun drops lower in the sky. The sky turns orange and red. The ostrich must eat before the sky gets too dark. The sun sinks lower in the sky. It's dusk. A flock of starlings come together, forming a black cloud in the sky. The birds are safe in the flock. They keep each other warm. They sing until the sun sinks out of sight. Chapter 3. Plants and the Day The sun shines brightly overhead. A field of sunflowers looks cheerful and yellow in the sunshine. The flowers turn to follow the sun across the sky. That helps them collect light from the sun. They use the light to make energy. At night, the sun does not shine. The flowers droop. They will open again tomorrow. The sun will shine brightly again then. It's daytime and a lotus flower opens wide. Its strong smell and pretty color attract a dragonfly. The dragonfly will get food inside the flower. The dragonfly needs the flower to be wide open. That way it can find food. When night falls, the flower will close. Chapter 4, Animals in the Night In the dark, hungry lions stalk the land. The sun set hours ago and the moon provides the only light. The lions watch and wait. A lion can see in the dark. This helps it watch for food in the night. In the dark, an elf owl peeks out from its nest in a saguaro cactus. The temperature has cooled and now the owl can hunt. It listens for signs of prey. Soon it will set out in search of food. Most owls can see well at night. This owl listens too. It can find food even when it cannot see. In the dark, a red-eyed tree frog blinks its big eyes open. It's hungry. The frog sits quietly and waits as it searches for food. Suddenly, it spots movement on a leaf. The frog is quick. It catches its food. But it's still hungry. The frog searches for food all night. In the dark, a raccoon wakes up. It peeks out into the night as it looks and listens. All seem safe. It's time to leave the den and hunt. The raccoon will use its excellent sight and hearing to find food in the dark. The raccoon trots down to the river. It peeks into the water. There's a fish there! In the dark, a termite mound starts to glow. It's not the termites, though. On the tower, hundreds of glowworms light up the night. They are glowing to attract food. 
The glow worm's lights shine bright. This attracts their food. It makes their food come right to them. Now it's easy for the glow worms to eat. Chapter 5 Plants in the Night Darkness falls and a balsa flower opens wide. Inside is a sweet liquid. Many nocturnal or nighttime animals are attracted to its scent and they come to drink. The flower closes in the day. It will open again at night. Nocturnal animals sleep in the day too. They will wake up again at night. In the dark forest, a group of fungi gives off an eerie glowing green light. The fungi only glow at night, but they couldn't make their light without the daytime sun. During the day, the fungi store the sun's light. At night, they turn the stored light into a glowing light. Thanks for joining me to read Day and Night today. If you want, I picked two activities from our story called Your Turn. Here's the first one. Tell what time of day each photo shows. Use the sun as a hint. So your times of day, dawn, dusk, daytime, and nighttime. Match each word to each picture. Number one is daytime. Number two is dusk. Three is dawn. Four is nighttime. Here's another your turn. What sense does each animal use most to get around in the dark? What senses do you use in the dark? So you're going to choose either see or hear. Number one is an owl. Number two is the tree frog. Three is your raccoon and four is your lion. Ready for your answers? One, see and hear. Two, see. Three, see and hear. Number four is C. Thanks for joining me. Bye.